Hey guys, and today I wanted to bring up um, a subject here that uh, it's a medical subject, and this is about a drug called Lipitor. Uh, Lipitor is uh, a class of the satins, so Lipitor, anything with a satin in it, like atrophosatin, rovosatin, and as you can see on my list here, where I'm showing you, see Lipitor, Crestor, all these drugs here, they are, are all a class of satins which lower um, cholesterol they work on the liver. Uh, there has actually did a study, and the only reason I'm bringing this up is because um, my mother was taking Lipitor for 10 years, and she had high cholesterol. So she was taking Lipitor, her cholesterol came down. But then, about three years ago, she developed type 2 diabetes. Uh, while taking Lipitor. So um, then she just, just uh, got pancreatic cancer and has a six, uh, 6 to 25 percent chance of living. So she'll, she'll probably pass away. And I believe this is directly in response to the Lipitor she was taking because Lipitor has been known by the FDA, and you're looking right at this, the FDA's 2012 warning about the risk of diabetes applied to a number of statins. Uh, included in all these here. And it's the study found that uh, Lipitor and the statin classes increased the risk of diabetes by 47%. Okay. Now, um, this is a fact. Women ages 50 to 79. And she was taking it when she was in her uh, early 70s. And other statins also higher higher rates of, of diabetes. They found more than 160 women to draw their conclusion in the study, they wrote that uh, satins were significantly associated with an increased occurrence of type 2 diabetes, which my mother got. And even your cardiologists are saying, if you're here on the left side, right side, satins have created 100,000 new diabetics. More than 30 million Americans take this to lower cholesterol. But it's saying the FDA warned that any strain can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Uh, Lipitor Zocor, Crestor, given the rates of increased diabetes, an article estimated many 100,000 people have been made diabetics from taking these drugs. And uh, if you're on this, I'm going to give you an example. I was put on, because uh, my cholesterol is high, I was put on Pravacol, Pravastatin, the one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, the tenth one on this list right here, my mouse is Pravastatin. And then uh, I wasn't taking it that long. I was taking one every every few days. And I went to the doctor. He was doing my blood work. And he said, you know, your liver enzymes are up a little. Hey, it's going to affect your liver taking this crap. You know, you're better off with the high cholesterol and just trying to diet and maybe eat right. Because if that's going to cause a problem, maybe you get liver cancer. Pan she got pancreatic cancer. What it does is the Lipitor has effect of uh, creating a cyst on the pancreas. And the cyst can develop into cancer. Some people said it reduces cancer, but I, I'm not really, um, I don't agree with that at all. So this is just like a warning for people. Uh, if you are taking the cholesterol lowering medications, you really should go and get your liver enzymes checked a lot. And get checked out real good. And if you can do any other thing to reduce your cholesterol, you're better off. Because, uh, you know, having high cholesterol is better than having uh, pancreatic cancer and dying. Because now my mother only has a 6 to 25% chance of living. Because once you get pancreatic cancer, pancreatic cancer um, is very hard to detect. It affects the pancreas. And then it uh, goes into the liver because the liver is real close to the pancreas and it can obstruct the liver. So that's what happened in my mom's case. Uh, she got pancreatic cancer and then it affected her bile duct and plugged it. So now her liver's having a problem. So it um, doesn't look too good for her. She's going to go into some surgery where they try to actually unobstruct the bile duct this Thursday. I don't know how it's going to uh, go. But it's a shame at 85 she's going to die because she took some stupid drug to lower her cholesterol. And I really think it's uh, because of that. Because my mother was very healthy, wasn't overweight, uh, and all she had was high cholesterol. And she took the Lipitor for 10 years. Then she developed diabetes while taking that. Uh, and that is the primary sign that shows that if you uh, get type 2 diabetes while taking Lipitor, then... Uh, it's from the Lipitor. And then, of course, if you have diabetes, you're at a higher chance of uh, pancreatic cancer because that's where um, your uh, insulin and everything is in the pancreas in there. 
Uh, that's where it's produced, you know. And without a pancreas, you can't live. So, um, you know, this is kind of, if you're taking that kind of medications, you really need to monitor your medicine. If somebody had died in your family from these, for the similar problems you're having, you need to contact a lawyer and sue the butt off this uh, uh, companies that make these drugs because it's terrible. The drugs are killing people. And, you know, it's, it's, it, these people are not going to jail. They should all be arrested. They're murdering people. Uh, you go out and murder somebody, you're going to end up in jail. You do something wrong, you're going to end up in jail. But these companies get away with just killing people, which is ridiculous just for a dollar. So thanks a lot, guys, and uh, I hope this has shed some light on it. Uh, if you are taking Lipitor, I advise not taking it anymore. Uh, I don't know if they even still make it, but if you are taking any of these uh, statins, I would probably avoid taking them also. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, I hope this was beneficial to somebody. Uh, if you have some information for me, uh, that would be great. Um, thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day. Thank you.